What's going on guys, Paul here with Process Mint and today I'm gonna to share with you guys how a brand is using their packaging to market their product. Secretly, I did wanna be a bartender at one point. I never did that, but a couple moves I like to throw down once in a while. So, SwitchPod. What is this company, what is this product? Well, first let me show you the product. I've got it actually back here on my desk first and then I'm gonna break down the packaging and everything in like that. So. This is a switch pod. Pretty cool little camera accessory. This is one of my old cameras I have. So what's cool about it is you can go kind of selfie mode like this, but then you can flip it out and then drop it on a desk or drop it on a table to set it down. So it's kind of like this really easy, it's called a switch pod. Really, really lightweight. So I love it as a camera accessory. Being a videographer, a photographer myself, I'm always on the hunt for the latest and the greatest tools. And so I buy a lot of different accessories. And one thing that I've really noticed, and I'm quite frankly, I'm extremely surprised at this, is that most camera accessories, lenses, the different tools for videography out there, they come in really cheap, like garbage packaging that like doesn't do anything for me. Uh, being somebody who's really into packaging or being a consumer myself in that industry, I've always been surprised by this. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys one of the latest boxes that I purchased back here, actually. So this is a lens that I purchased uh, a little bit ago. This is $750 to $800 lens, it's a Sigma lens. And notice the packaging that I've got right here, right? Is this special at all? <laughs> Does this do anything for you guys right now? It doesn't do anything for me. And this is how most lenses, cameras, products come. Even if you're spending two grand on something, they come in cheap packaging, something I've never really understood. You know, and I, and I get it, like we're not buying for the packaging, we're not buying for the presentation. You could argue that for any product though. Even for this SwitchPod accessory, no one's really buying it for the packaging. So SwitchPod raised $415,000 in their Kickstarter campaign. I was like a small, tiny one per portion of that. Uh, this is the original packaging back from I think a couple years ago when they originally funded this, this product. Um, and so why, if they've already raised that much money, if they've already raised all the money, the customers have given them the money already, why would they invest a dime in that in packaging? Why wouldn't they just go something simple like this? And I, and, and I tell you this because you need to think about it for your brand. Why would you ever go from something like this instead of something cheap? You, you have to understand something about marketing, especially in like the photo video space. There's a lot of influencers, a lot of people on YouTube, on Instagram, online who are reviewing everything they buy. Inherently, they're storytellers with video and photo. So they wanna show them unboxing and unpeeling the product. So SwitchPod understood this. It was, this product was invented by two really smart dudes named Caleb and Pat. And Pat is a guy, he's actually on the back of this box. That's him and his son right here. <laughs> and so Pat, he, he runs like a top 50, top 10 at times business podcast. He's been around for over a decade, one of my life goals. Put in the universe right now is to be on Pat's podcast, Smart Passive Income, check it out. But what they understood about their market is their market wants to document their unboxing experiences. And chances are, even if you're not in this kind of camera accessories market, you're in another industry, there's gonna be a subset of customers who wants to share their purchase or their unboxing experience of your product online. They want to share it with their friends. And whether that be with their 350 friends that see their Instagram story, or whether it be with like millions of their followers, the subscribers on YouTube, like a guy like Unbox Therapy, uh, a guy like Peter McKinnon, like if they get a hold of something like this, which Peter McKinnon did and shared it, they're going to share their whole experience online. So the value when, when you present it in something that's a presentation worthy, that is unbox worthy, to document the film, that gives us that extra little, like just a little brand impression, sizzles it into somebody's brain. The other thing that I love what SwitchPod did, it was they, they really established their design identity, the brand identity through this yellow packaging, right? So um, they have like, this, all their products are just this black metalized um, and plastic surfaces products, but they've really gone with this design identity, which is yellow. I love how they just have their logo the minimal handheld tripod and a product image right here. This is packaging 101, really high quality photography, simply what the product is up front, right? That's just packaging 101. Um, but their design identity, brand identity, is distinguished with this little yellow accessory. There's a little yellow emblem of their logo. It's used in their social, it's used on their website. 
and then they just make this really stark contrast and they own that color. So first of all, figure out a color or design identity that you can own in your packaging. Second thing they've done is made it just a really nice magnetic paper overboard premium packaging that is just, it's just nice here, right? We have this un, you're gonna pull it open and right inside here is where the product is gonna lay. And I've got an EVA foam. This EVA foam is about an inch and a half half in depth. You can see how like the foam is gray and then the front, the top of this is like a velvet. It's kind of a velvety felt. This is just like literally you can pick any texture in packaging manufacturing. You can actually pick any texture and you can have it adhered to the top of an EVA foam. So this is exactly what they've done here. So it just presents it. It makes the product have a really nice opening in and out. Um, and then yeah, a nice closure, right? So simple packaging. It's effective, it has some instructions on the back here with Pat and his son. And then they've done same, the same thing with they have like a ball head that can attach to the top of it, right? This little, this little ball head right here. Um, it looks like actually that's the same depth. I think it's an inch and a half, let me check. Yeah, it looks like they've used potentially, you know, the same width on that die and then they just cut out another die for the ball head. So same depth. So what does this packaging cost and what is it made of? So this is what's known as paper overboard. Uh, a paper overboard box. It's literally a board and then there's just paper wrapped over it. So you can choose any color and just flood the whole thing, right? You can see kind of some of the paper lines right here that it's, that's folded over. And then this is a velvet liner. So we're gonna like, they're gonna glue a velvet uh, just covering over the top of the EVA foam. So for the larger box, <clears throat> total cost to manufacture this would be $3.25. $3.25 at this scale. I think this is about a 14 inch box, about an inch and a half, half deep. And then the smaller one, we're looking at $1.75 to manufacture a, a premium box like this. So we're seeing, you know, like jewelry companies or candle companies or skincare companies, these companies that have a product that's 20 to 30, $40 package it in this kind of packaging because of what it can do for the brand. I mean, this is a company that really understands branding. They understand marketing. It's working for them. I, I can't tell you how many unboxing experiences I saw people use and share on their Instagram stories at, or on YouTube with this particular brand. Uh, so it go, honestly goes a long way. All right, so what would we do here at Process to change this or to alter it? Now, it depends on SwitchPod's goals. We don't have that internal discussion. We don't know some of those goals that they have. But um, some ways to improve this packaging or to change it perhaps, if they wanted to make it a bit more eco-friendly um, and not go with an EVA, we could go with like a, a, a molded pulp. And, and that molded pulp is egg, anywhere from like an egg carton to like an Apple iPhone box. I did an Apple iPhone box breakdown. You can check that link out up here. Um, but you know, the other thing that you could do, assuming this was made in China with their actual uh, product inside itself, um, it was probably shipped over here directly from overseas. And they, so they made the right decision there if it's all shipping, shipping at once. But you could use a fold flat box. I covered that in our bong box video a while back where actually there's these large boxes that are folded and, and shipped flat. And then the product is assembled and put inside here before it ships. So you could use a fold flat box and they could have done that here. But assuming both came from overseas, uh, they made the right decision there. The other thing that uh, you could worth considering for your packaging, I think they made a good decision on not going with an EVA foam case. Like you see this a lot with headphones. I covered a video earlier on headphone packaging where the, the headphones themselves came in this really nice high-end EVA foam case. And because this accessory is honestly, it's, it's really lightweight and it's meant to be just kind of slid into the side of your backpack or a bag. It's really not meant to have a case around it. It doesn't need that protection. It already kind of has it and inherently they want to keep it small as a photographer. So I think they made the right decision by not putting it in this like carrying case, but that's another thing that you can consider with your packaging rather than put in a premium box, put in a premium case that needs to be used and uh, always kind of placed in and out of when you're traveling. So you guys, that is today's episode. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thanks for all the comments and all the love on this channel. My name is Paul. This is the Masterminds of Packaging, and we will see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, Paul with Process Minted. Today I'm gonna to share with you guys how to make... Okay. What's up guys? Okay, here we go. I gotta focus, I gotta focus on this. What's going on guys? It's Paul with Process Minted, the Masterminds of Packaging. Today I'm gonna to break down the SwitchPod packaging.